Last year, my parents visited their friends in the south of France. Seeing their house and the breathtaking view it has, we joked at that time that we would love to bring our soon-to-be-born son, Poppy, there. And without a second thought, their friends offered to lend us the house whenever we want. So we decided that we could go there in May, around my birthday. Poppy would have been six months, and it would have been fine to travel with him. Sadly, life had other plans, and Poppy couldn't stay with us. For a while, we considered cancelling our trip to South of France. In the end, we thought it could help us to do this trip and see the place we dreamt of being in with our son. And so, in May, with my family, we booked flight and headed there. The house was nothing less than impressive, and we loved every single moment we spent there. We only wish that Poppy would have been there with us. My parents' friends should also have come for a few days, but in the end, they couldn't make it. However, it would have been a special moment for us to be with them, as they themselves experienced child loss. It wasn't stillbirth and was later in their son's life, but we knew we had that in common. Understanding something that only parents that lost their child could understand and feel. The house was in the back country of Saint-Tropez, and to access it, we had to use a private road, making it super secluded. Yet, not too far from it, we had all the commodities, and we loved the local producer store located in the town nearby. Thanks to it, we were able to have fresh and local food, and make lots of delicious meals there. But what was truly making them special was to be in such a house with my family. Outside, it was still a bit cold due to the wind in May, but the terrace was so amazing and perfect to relax with the scenic view of the Centro Pe Bay. The garden around the house was another one of the highlights. It was beautiful, and there was a little platform on it where Tina enjoyed doing yoga and meditation. I mean, who wouldn't? One morning, we even saw a hare. But Tina also enjoyed doing early yoga inside by the huge windows. The swimming pool was also amazing. As we had some sunny days, 
we took it slow, enjoying breakfast, then road tripping a bit around before relaxing by the pool. One day, we also play pétanque, a French port. It's time to talk about the sunrise. Well, I'll let you be the judge of them. One day, we also went hiking around the house. We followed the trail to an old church. It was beautiful, and seeing poppy flowers around us along the trail made it even more special. Our hike ended in a nearby town, where we had lunch. The restaurant was a true hidden gem, and everything we had was delicious. After that, all that was left was to hike back. Another day, we went mountain biking around the house. We followed a loop trail, and for most of it, we had such a great time. Some portions were tougher, as it was our first time doing mountain biking. At the end of one, we found a super nice creek with a waterfall. And in the end, we got completely blocked as the road disappeared. As we didn't know how to get back, we pushed forward, carrying the bike until we found another trail. That was actually in bad shape. Ultimately, we made it back. But what we didn't know was that forest fire and flooding took place in the area a few years back and that many forest roads and trails are gone or severely damaged. Funny thing, when we got back, my family went out and we were stuck outside. It's funny now, but it wasn't at that time. And that sums up this vlog about the dream house 
that should have been our son's first travel. And we are so grateful to my parents' friend for allowing us to be there.